Salvete Spectatores, it's Mazepost, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Still still in Viking Rage. Now, it's the first recording here again after some time. So please be forgiving when I don't remember everything I was about to in the last episodes. We're still trying to become here no of Norman culture. Here we go, these are already Norman, we conquered them. And I don't know how long it takes, but I am sure that when there is Breton or French culture, in the province underneath a Norse overlord, they will turn Norman at some point from French and that's what we are going to do. Because they, I guess, will become English and we have English longbow retinue and all that jazz. For now, however, I face the severe threat of a pretty strong uh, invasion force. They have more troops than I do. I mean, I, I don't even have prestige. That's actually quite bad. So let's finish this war against my brother, I guess. Yep. So he, we can integrate him back into the realm. Into the realm. And technology points. That's fine. Let's go down to speed three. What do we have here? A new commander. Yeah, let's do that. We need the best soldiers here. What about you? Ha! Huh, that's nice. So he is my nephew, and he likes me not because I'm. He thinks I'm a tyrant. That's fine. Do we have? Uh, centralization laws. No, in fifth. So in five more years, we can do a change. I can actually nominate an heir because I'm quite old. Let's check this. Actually, now my heir is my son. She isn't that good. The more important stats, to my mind, stewardship and marshal are very underdeveloped. So I don't want him to become my heir. With this guy, I am at war with right now. No. Yeah, it's this guy. So he has actually excellent stats, so I want you <laughs> to be my heir, which is funny. Let's see if this is possible. We could nominate... Yeah, here we can see the stats over. Or he's also quite well, my other brother. Well concerning his stats, but he is insane. <laughs> quite literally. Uh, so let's do that. And I think my vote here is the most... Yeah, my vote counts here uh, stronger than the other ones. Actually, why is the war not progressing at all here? We're only at war with you. I mean, we have Lotharingia still as an ally, so... Once... Uh, well, he's at war with quite a few people, so if the invasion fires, I'll be under severe threat, because I also don't have the prestige to do anything. Uh, oh my god. How... How lucky of me to deal with my succession right before I die. I mean, this is just great luck. Oh my god, the invasion is still there. Okay, I have a new heir, that's for sure. King Hörvardr has given up the ghost at age 56. He died a natural death. So, apparently 56 is a ripe age and you can always die at this point. I'm not even sure. Well, I did not have any... Modifiers. I'm not sure. I think I was healthy enough. So where King Totil? King Totil, always clad in glistening and splendid armor. Totil wants everyone to see him as he charges into battle. That, I think, has to do with my tough soldier upbringing. So let's check this out. We are a lunatic, which is always great. We are brave, diligent, temperate, ambitious, patient, a genius. This is Excellent! So if this guy would become immortal, which I enabled the possibility, it would be insane. We're scarred, which is also good. Proud, not bad. So 0.6 prestige alone from that. We can, of course, improve the tough soldier trait with enough martial education. On the other hand, I don't want him. He's a winter soldier and aggressive leader. I don't want him and personal combat strength 3 to lead troops because he's just too good. Let's see, we want a proper Norse beard here. This looks good. I don't know. What, what unit model is this? It's not the normal Norse one. Their, their, their beards are quite different. Interesting. I like the very big beard, this one, and some nice hair. This fits well. This fits even better. Let's do it like this. Nice. My wife looks a little bit weird. 
She's of Latgalian culture, I think it's Baltic culture, and she's depressed. Wow, she has bad stats. Because I'm ambitious, I actually think it's possible to divorce her. That's just outright. And it... what? Oh my god, I'm Catholic. So I can't do it. Oh god, what can I do to her? I could imprison her, but all my vassals would hate me. I could try to kill her. Hmm, is it worth? At the moment, no. We are far away from reaching our domain, so I don't need her. And she's depressed, so she might commit suicide. Let's check out our children. Our firstborn is actually quite nice. Has also a strong wife, so he he's 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 decent. I want him to be commander. Appoint commander. Or I could put him on the council, let's see. Let's check the council. We do have a marshal. Um he couldn't become anything else. What do we have here? This is my nephew, and he would like me enough if I put him on a council, so let's actually do that. He is fine as a marshal. And he is also quite decent here. I could go to a 19... What, what's he? He's also my nephew. Trykve, and he would have 19, but he's also depressed and he hates me because... <laughs> We're at war, alright. Never mind. Spymaster. Excellent, take this guy. And Kurt Chaplin. Holy shit, he has 23. Let's put him on in charge. Let's see about religion. Um, I want to I want to leave this here. So let's just do the proselyte. No, build zeal. Wait, what? I can still build zeal as a Catholic. Okay. Let's improve religious relations with the Pope. That's always a good idea. Let's do some more technology studying. Settling tribe isn't really necessary, so let's build the legend to get more prestige, which is vital. I need at least 500 for one 2500 stack. Um, train troops, I guess. And we want to fabricate a claim. Yeah, no, why not? Let's try to fabricate on the Duchy of Normandy here. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. We are at war with two guys, actually. What's this? Quinvedian Conquest of Teviodale. My nephew, is he in charge of this? Oh. Is it. What? So, my brother? What the hell is going on there? So, he attacked? No. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just finish this war. They're fighting beneath me? I don't get it. And what's this? Icelander Revolt League Independence War. Why is it called Icelander? Okay. So this war got inconclusively reduced to nothing and I think here we are winning quite handily. What do we have here? We have the retinue and normal soldiers, so let's disband this one. What's this? Um, are these guys, they're not one rebel, uh, one, one this group, one tribal army group, aren't they? Um, alright, hmm, so what can we do? We again lost control of the provinces on mainland France, so we will try to regain them. We have 12 here, which is fine. I'm still not sure where these men come from, but at the moment I don't care. I, we have now 6k troops, that's fine. Because my troops are over here, I first... let's disband the ships. I want to... we still... Ah, okay, we lost control of the units there, which is fine, I don't need this land. At some point I think I will grant them independence, I'm not sure. Or maybe I will try to install the Swedish kingship uh, on the branch of my family over there. First I want to again control and consolidate Ireland. So there's still this lord and this count. 
Air am I, so that's not a problem. And Air is my nephew. They're both of my dynasty, so what the hell, who is he? Scrotty, Scrotty, okay. So, mm, I cannot declare because... Wait a second. Um, let's check my, my claims. Okay, Chieftain of Revni. This guy. These two I don't care about. Okay, I myself can claim Brevni, which at this point is fine because he's only 1k troops. Uh, he has a few tribal vessels. On the other hand, he has no prestige. And maybe we should just wait this guy out because he's quite scary. So at this point, I don't want to do any warring. I can create the, the, the Duchy of Man. What's my Duchy? We have the Kingdom. And we have already two Jarldoms, so that's no point doing that at the moment. We also need the money, I guess. We want these two provinces back. If I revoke, yeah, all my guys will hate me. And he is my heir nonetheless, so let's check out what heirs we can appoint. So, I think it mo makes the most sense to put my son here in charge. On the other hand, he's also quite nice, but he's 53, so let's let's make my son the heir at this point. What the hell? Why am I my own heir? This doesn't make sense. Okay, never mind. Let's do some counselor shifting. We did just do that, right? Okay, marshal is fine. I'll put my son as a marshal here because he will be loyal, I'm, I hope at least. This is fine, and he's the 23 guy, that's good. Steward, we need... Uh, I'm not sure, he still hates me. On the other hand, not really much. He thinks I'm an infidel and he's a title claimant, so... Maybe it makes more sense to make this guy, who is my nephew, and he's also a nephew. Yeah, let's make him. He's the, the, the Jarl of Ostergold and so I won't attack him anytime soon. He will just build the legend in the capital and he will, he will do the train troops. That's fine. Let's see about the laws. I wanna do also more ruler focused council laws, but on the other hand I also want to... Here we have, we are maxed out. So let's do one of these. Nice, we already have two loyalists, and we could put another loyalist at, in the advisor slot. Who would be loyal? Hmm. He likes me best, but I'm not sure if this is enough to make him loyal. He's content, so if we make him advisor... Yeah, sweet, he is actually loyal. I don't know if content guys are more loyal or have a higher chance of becoming loyal. I hope so. So what's important? Execution, banishment or imprisonment? Banishment is not really important. I think imprisonment is more important than execution, so we'll go for that. Um, what else is there to do? Let's do the designated regent. I guess my... Can I do my, put my heir as a designated regent? Doesn't make sense at all, but I could. On the other hand, I want my wife to be happier than she's now. So she will become the designated regent. And so that she's positive on top of that. The Keeper of the Swans, which is, I guess, somewhat a female occupation. I'm not sure. I don't want to be sexist here. We can do another court physician. I think a 23 education skill guy is well suited for that. Perfect. He likes me better now. And a commander. That's always the case. Alright. Why not this guy? Perfect. So there's that. Can prefer the, uh, we can press the Jurduqal claims, don't care about this, or this, or this. So council this command. So we just unpause. And let's play on speed 4 for a time. Strangfjordr prospers. That's perfect. Prospering. Gives me actually 10% local tax modifier, which is fine. And levy reinforcement rate. We're pretty rich, so... 
at the moment I don't want to spend anything until this threat goes away. I think it's two years in September, uh, so sorry, less than one year now. Can rise. Wait a second. Oh, we're still at war with, with this one. Is he making progress? No, so I need to send, for instance, my retinue there. Can I raise more units into my retinue? I want three, three blocks. No, I can't. I need to improve this. My military org is, uh, is, is already at three, so do I have any guy that can improve my siege? Doesn't look like it. Are you kidding? Now you moved away? Alright, let's put this one there. What's going on there? Ah, he's raiding. Okay. Uh-oh, what's this about? Oh, he's at war with him. That's fine, I guess. So, is it more important for him to become a Winter Soldier? Uh, I guess so. I, I really like Winter Soldier. It's situational, of course. On the other hand, it gives me Winter Combat plus 50%, which I guess means that every troop has a 50% bonus in Winter. If this is the case, it's extremely strong. Othon Carling wants to betroth my niece with my nephew. What? Oh, okay, so apparently my sister has married him. Yeah, that's right. So, this... Ex excellent, let's do this. Um, is he still my ally? No, he's not. Let's see if we can make an alliance. Yeah, perfect. So, good thing I looked at this. So, we again have an, al an alliance with the King of Lotharingia, which is quite strong. Let's see. 12k, yeah, he'll sure defend me against any invasion. Let's see. It just went away. He did not declare the war. Looks like it. What the hell even is this war? Eastlander Revolt League. I have no idea what that means. So, she's 12. She's rowdy, affectionate and idolizer. Hmm. So this doesn't make much sense. She could become a diplomat. Yeah, why not? She'll be betrothed to maybe the next king of Lotharingia. Let's make a good education for her. <laughs> this is... I like this portrait. You, you face on the courtyard, uh, grey-haired, fighting Oma, basically. Super sturdy. Let's give, them, uh, give her a grey eminence. This one looks nice. Why not? Okay. So she's my sister, right? She's 54 and a 17 marshal. And one person combat skill. Your court chaplain, Frodi, of Frothby, has been discovered charging money for various reasons. Well, he can do that with learning 20 dues, so disappointing but understandable. Let's check out my. Ah, uh, no, go away. I will keep you. No fear. You can take money out of my coffers. Huh, we have some unruly. But what the hell? <laughs> okay. Never mind, so he died uh, one day later, apparently. We can now... Yeah, let's put him in charge. Or maybe one of the priests, it doesn't really matter. Let's put him there, so maybe he pays money to us. Still improve relations with the Pope. This is one thing, because... Here we go. Um, priests that like the Pope better than me will pay to the Pope. So we have to increase their, their faith in me, basically. Um, Jarl Odr of Gwynedd. So this guy now has inherited tiles. Oh, he got murdered. Okay. So when is this finally over, this war over here? This is my genius son, who will become a warrior, of course, and educated by nobody less than me. Excellent. He will... Can I make him my heir? I think I can. But for now it's better to have an, a grown-up heir if I die under, I don't know, suspicious circumstances, something like that, than having a child. So what about this? I'm allied to this guy? Oh crap. Why is that? Yeah. 
he's my brother, but I don't think brothers are necessarily married, so that's, that's the reason I can't attack him. Interesting, so let's finish this war. Oh, I can't. Well, okay, he did it on his own. Fine. Okay, the, they got... They, yeah, they were just raised vassals. No, raised, uh, what was it, tribal army, something like this. Uh-oh. My nephew got usurped by Eskild of Evreux. But he's still Ulfing, so that's fine. So this guy now controls all three holdings, holdings which won't work. Um, how do I make this into a bit, make make them uh, into my realm again? What? Since we have a claim on it, nobody will care. Uh, let's see about that. Ooh, interesting. Okay, let's revoke these titles first. Evero. He'll say maybe. Let's check this out. Okay, he did it. So, can I still revoke more? Yep. Huh! Okay, now he rebelled. That's interesting. Why didn't he rebel outright? So let's put another Chancellor in charge. I guess he was the Chancellor and now he rebels. That's fine. Let's fabricate the claim still on the duchy here. Maybe we get it. It, it, it. We can create a claim on the duchy via this. So we don't want to call in any allies. That's not necessary. We, our retinue got decreased somehow. We'll see about that later. But for now, I thank you all for watching. I will see you soon when we can claim these two provinces back into our personal domain. Have a nice day.